Hello kids. Everyone has heard the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. Well, today you are going to see a new story and it's called Goldilocks and the three magic words. Yes. This is Goldilocks. She is a nice little girl. Sometimes she listens to her mummy and sometimes she doesn't. Do you listen to your mummy? Well, one day mummy and daddy took Goldilocks to a theme park. Yes, and in that theme park there were trees. Goldilocks did not listen to her mummy and she started wandering on her own. See? There she goes. Now let's see what happens to her. Suddenly, Goldilocks sees a house. It's the house of three teddy bears. <laughs> yes, they were teddy bears and not real bears. After all, real bears don't live in a house, do they? <laughs> so Goldilocks walks inside the house and then she sees a table and on the table Goldilocks sees a big bowl and a medium sized bowl and a small bowl Goldilocks was feeling hungry so she went to the big bowl and she took the spoon and had a little bit of the porridge <gasps> and Goldilocks said oh it's too hot so Goldilocks now tried the medium sized bowl she dipped her spoon and took a bite ah <gasps> it's too lumpy said Goldilocks now Goldilocks was feeling very hungry so she went to the small bowl and she tasted the porridge and Goldilocks said, Mmm, this is just right. It is yummy. And so Goldilocks quickly eats up all the porridge in the small bowl. Now Goldilocks was feeling tired. So Goldilocks saw a few chairs. A big chair, a medium sized chair, and a small chair. Goldilocks was very excited. Let me try the big chair. She climbed onto the chair and tried to sit on it and said, oh, this one is too high. Now Goldilocks sat on the medium sized chair. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, oh, oh. This one is too hard. I don't like it. Now Goldilocks sits on the small chair. Hmm, she says, this one is just right for me. It's so comfortable. Goldilocks sits on the chair and whoops, what happened? The chair breaks into two. Ooh, Goldilocks is feeling very, very tired now. She gets up and goes to the bedroom. And what do you think she sees there? Yes, she sees three beds. A big bed, a medium sized bed and a small bed. Oh, says Goldilocks. I think I'll go to sleep. So let me climb on this big, big bed. Oh. This one is too hard. Let me try the medium sized bed. Mm -hmm. Ha! Ah, but this one is too soft. I don't like it. So Goldilocks now tries the small bed. <gasps> oh, says Goldilocks. This is so comfortable. And soon Goldilocks is fast asleep. Now who do you think will come to the house? Yes, 
the three teddy bears return back to their house. And what do they see? Mm, they see a lot of mess. They see that their porridge has been eaten, their chairs have been broken, and their beds have been messed up. So Papa Bear gets very angry. He looks at his bowl and says, Who's been eating from my bowl? Mummy Bear looks at her bowl and says, Oh, somebody has been eating from my bowl. Baby Bear starts crying and he says, Papa, Mama, somebody has eaten up all my porridge. <laughs> Papa Bear walks towards the chairs. He looks at his chair, mm, gets very angry and says, Who's been sitting on my chair? <sighs> Mummy Bear looks at her chair and says, Oh my God, somebody has been sitting on my chair. Baby Bear starts crying again. <laughs> somebody has broken my chair. <laughs> now, a angry Papa Bear an angry mama bear and an angry baby bear march into the bedroom and papa bear looks at his bed and what do you think he says yes he says who's been sleeping in my bed mama bear is upset when she sees her bed she says who's been sleeping in my bed suddenly Baby Bear sees somebody in his bed and says, Mama, Papa, look, somebody is sleeping in my bed. Goldilocks wakes up. She sees the three bears and starts running away from the house. She runs out and there she finds three little kids and these children tell her no Goldilocks you can't run away like that you have to go back to the bear's house and you must learn to use three magic words three magic words says Goldilocks what are they the first kid says please the second kid says thank you and the third kid says, sorry. Now the kids tell Goldilocks, you forgot to use please, thank you and sorry. So go back to the teddy bear's house and learn to use them. Hmm, Goldilocks realizes her mistake and says, I must go back to the teddy bear's house and I must use these three magic words. Goldilocks, walks inside the house and meets Mama Bear and says, Please, Mama Bear, may I help you make some more porridge? Mama Bear is very happy. She says, Oh, yes. Yes, dear, you can help me make some more porridge for everyone. Goldilocks then goes to Papa Bear and says, Please, Papa Bear, Teach me how to mend this chair that I broke. Papa Bear is very impressed. He teaches her how to mend the chair. She mends the chair and says, Thank you, Papa Bear, for teaching me how to mend the chair. Goldilocks then meets Baby Bear and says, Baby Bear, I am so sorry I rumpled your bed. Let me help you make it all right. Baby Bear and Goldilocks make all the beds. Now, Papa Bear, Mama Bear and Baby Bear are all happy with Goldilocks. Goldilocks promises to be a good girl. She now goes on her way home and waves goodbye to all the three teddy bears. 
Soon, she meets the three little kids again. And do you know what song they teach her? Well, here's the song and you can all sing along with us. When Goldilocks went to the house of the bears, Oh, what did her do? I see a bowl that was huge, a bowl that was small, a bowl that was tiny and that was all. She counted them. One, two, three. When Goldilocks went to the house of the bears, Oh, what did her do? I see a chair that was too high, a chair that was high, a chair that was tiny and that was all. She counted them. One, two, three. When Goldilocks went to the house of the bears, Oh, what did her do? I see a bed that was hard, a bed that was soft, a bed that was just right and that was all. She counted them. One, two, three. When Goldilocks went to the house of the bears. Oh, what are the three words she learned? She learned to say please. She learned to say sorry. She learned to say thank you and that was all. These were the magic words, she counted them one, two, three. So kids, did you also learn the three magic words? Yes, let's repeat them again. Please, when you want something. Thank you, when you get something. And sorry, when you hurt someone. So let's promise to use these three magic words every day all the time. Thank you, please and sorry.